Have you ever seen a big dog? But not big, a giant dog. I bet you so. The world's largest Great Dane Zeus measures 45 inches from paw to shoulder. He's gentle, he's giant, he's a guardian. We present the one and only, the mighty Apollo of the dogs. For those who don't know who is Apollo, is the Greek god of sun. Also, Great Dane are named lap dogs. But let's get back in the past. And guess what? Great Dane is German in origin, not Danish. <coughs> Drawings of dogs who look like Great Danes have been found on Egyptian artifacts dating back to 3000 before Christ, and also in Babylonian temples that were built around 2000 before Christ. There's evidence that similar dogs originated in Tibet, with written reports of such dogs appearing in Chinese literature. The breed is thought to have been taken into various parts of the world by the Assyrians, who trade their dogs to the Greeks and Romans. The Greeks and Romans then bred these dogs with other breeds, and ancestors of the English Mastiff were probably involved in the breed development, and some folks believe that Irish Wolfhound may have played a major role. Great Danes originally were called boar hounds, because boars were what they were bred to hunt. Their ears were cropped to prevent boar tusks from tearing them. In the 16th century, the royal courts of Denmark introduced a new method of hunting, by force. An artificial hunting where the dogs had to hunt the prey and maintain it until the hunter arrives. That dogs were not equipped to play this role, they were too light to hold the prey. To solve this problem, King Friedrich of Denmark imported English puppies donated by Queen Elizabeth I, which were the most powerful of the English Mastiffs, and which, when mixed with his dogs, is become the foundation of the current Great Dane. In the 16th century, the name of the breed was changed to English Dogger. The name Great Dane arose in the 17th when a French naturalist traveled to Denmark and saw a version of the Boar Hound, who was slimmer and more like a greyhound in appearance. He called this dog Grand Danois, which eventually became Great Danish Dog, with the more massive examples of the breed called Danish Mastiffs. The name stuck even though Denmark did not develop the breed.